All right, and that is pretty much <laughs> the setup of DK. So it's not really a setup. Hey everyone, today I got another Solitaire or Passion scheme for you. Um, but before I get into that, um, let me showcase today's deck for you. So today I will be showcasing Zoti playing cards. This is, I think, one of the very first playing card decks I backed on Kickstarter years ago. I don't know exactly when that was, but I thought that this was quite an interesting deck. It's not very easy on the eyes regarding the uh, the pattern here, right? Because um, I hope the, the camera kind of captures that um, but um, I think it fits today's game a little bit and um, regarding the design so um, I wanted to show that to you so um, first of all the quality of the cards is good it's a really good quality and you see here that you have this kind of pattern here right that's what I mean with not easy on the eyes not that it's not pretty I mean I think it's a really cool design but um, right it's a little bit difficult to see for the eyes <laughs> right um, looks like kind of an illusion kind of thing but I like this pattern a lot the cards are definitely have a good quality I like those a lot and then we see here the logo again and um, and now we come to the interesting part so the pips are quite small um, and also you see here that um, we have like little lines right here in the clubs and also in the other cards um, for example here right these are all like little, little lines going through here so these look kind of like red and white or black and white instead of just plain black and i think it's a pretty cool contrast if you look at something like this here right and you have like the regular even small pips here and then you have these these suits here with the with the lines through them that looks pretty cool it's a pretty cool contrast and then let's take a look at the face cards or the court cards which look really interesting like really like artsy so to speak right this could be like some kind of cubist painting or whatever so that is pretty cool so we have the jack here we have the queen and also the king um i really like those they look really strange but in a good way and um we have the same right here right just in with different colors and yeah i like this deck i like this deck and then we also have the jokers here which is really interesting because they also have some really interesting shapes that i can't identify but also um they don't have the word joker on here so that is pretty funny and then we also have like uh, you can do some cardistry with the seven of hearts all right and that is pretty much all and the game i want to bring to you today is called accordion uh, just like the instrument um, and that is um, another patience or solitaire game using just a single deck of playing cards um, It's called like that because it looks like the accordion pleats Which have to be ironed out and the object is to compress the entire deck into one pile like an accordion so this actually um, is quite similar to Royal Marriage which are already featured on the channel and Royal Marriage is a variant of this game actually Right, so um, and I want to just want to show accordion to you because it's similar, but it's just a little bit different. And um, so let me first um, shuffle the cards and prepare the game here, and then we can get started. <laughs> All right, and that is pretty much <laughs> the setup of the game. So it's not really a setup. Um, there are two versions how you can play this game, and I will play with the version I usually play with, um, but I will show you the variant at the end when we're done, just to um, let you know how it works. So um, we will just deal as many cards as we want to, as many that can fit on the table here. Um, let me just put it like this. And um, what we can do, what we can now do is we can put a card on the card to the very, on the very left or three cards to the left. Um, but only if the rank or the suit are the same. So for example, we could, this is a spade. It's also a spade, one to the left, we could, we could put that there, right? Um, this one is a spade, this one is also a spade. It's three to the left, we could also put it on there. Um, and then we also, for example, the hearts, we could also put there. 
But let's say the hearts was here. I will rearrange it in a minute. Then we could not put that on here, although it's our hearts because it's two to the left. It's only one to the left or three to the left. And you win the game when you have only one pile left. But because I'm playing with the harder variant here, um, it's also okay if you have like five piles, up to five piles at the end. Then you still could consider this a win, right? And the less piles you have, the better it is. And the perfect win would be with only one pile, right? Um, so yeah, let us just start here. So we can deal out as much as many cards as we want to. We can do that one card at a time, but we can also just imagine that the line continues down here, right? But we can also deal out more cards so we have a better overview. Oops. And we can plan a little bit more strategically here. So let's just deal out, let's say two rows for now. And I think then we can work with that. So we can see here, these we can all put together. That would be great. Two and seven won't help us here at least. We can put these two together. These seven can be over there. Yeah, I think there are quite a few ideas, a few things we can do here. So why don't we just collapse the most, most, so this one here, one to the left, that is fine. Well, actually no. And now we see a little bit of tactic, right? If we put that to the left, then the seven would go over here, and then we would also, have, then we would have two to the queen here, right? So it would be there, and then we couldn't put it on there because it's only two. But if we move that one first, right? If we move that one first, one, two, three on there, then it's already gone. That is great. Um, now let's see. We should do the same thing here because these all move then up. We should do the same thing here, right? We should first move this one, one, two, three on here. And then we can move that one on there. All right, like this. And you see now we eliminated quite a few cards already. So let us move everything up here and see how we can continue because I think the seven, we can also move. Yes, we can also move the seven here and then we can move everything on here. So let's do that. So. Remember, only three three cards to the left or only one card, right? Like two or something like that is not possible. All right, so and now let's deal out quite a few more cards so we have a better overview. We can also deal more than three rows, uh, more than two rows, but I don't know if that is really necessary. Well, let's deal just one more row here so we have an even better overview like this here. Um, and then we can see how that works. So let's, let's work from the bottom, like right from the very right to the left, I'd say. So we can put this on here with the four, we can't do anything with the five. We can put there. Can we combine anything here? Not really, but if we put the five here, then we can put the 10 on here. I have an idea. Hear me out. I think that can pro work pretty well. So we can't put that there. We can't do that, but we can put, oh no. No, wait, we can't put the five on here. That's not possible. Hmm, let's see. Well, well, well. What we can do is put the four on here and then one, two, three, and then we can put that on here. And then this one would be one, two, three. So we can put that Ah, but here the force would be great too, right? Hmm. No, let's put the five maybe there if we can. So one, two, three, that works. And then also here again, one, two, three, and then one to the left and again, one to the left, right? So that is pretty good. And now we can put the queen on here even. One, two, three, that would work. So one, two, three on here. Um, and now we could put that there and that there, but it's not going to work because we can only put uh, like three to the left, right? So uh, that's not quite possible yet, but maybe we can do that um, some other way later on. If we can put it, get a seven on here, for example, right? Then we can put that there or yeah, maybe get a seven here, seven there, seven there. That would be even better. Maybe we can get a seven up here. Well, there is a seven coming up here. So let's see, maybe we can do something there. Let's see. Oh, I'm a little bit excited now because I think we could do something cool here. So let me move all these up here. You see, we eliminate the entire row again. And bef 
Well, let's steal out that row and see. So you see, um, this is a little bit, you're a little bit more free here than a royal marriage, which is the very variant from here, uh, from the variant of this game, I mean. Um, so, but I do like this a little bit more, to be honest. All right, so let's see, 210, we can't do anything here, we can't do anything here, we can move that here, but that won't help us with the jack here. I do have an idea. That should work. So if we put the four, one, two, three on here, um, and then we can put the, uh, I would like the five, two, but I will do it differently. I wanted to have a seven here, but no, I don't need the seven here. Actually, no, I need a seven of spades. That's the seven I need here. So it doesn't really matter how I do it here, actually. Not really. So what, what I can then do instead is just put the five here on there and then three to the left. And then we can put the 10. Yeah, let me see, one, two, three. Then we could put the 10 maybe on here and on here. No, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Um, Actually, this is tough now because I would like the five on there, but that's not going to work. Well, no, 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 that's fine. We can put that one here and then we can put that because same number also works, same rank and put it there. And then we have quite a few cards we can put there as well. So let me just rearrange everything. So you see, we eliminate an entire row almost again. And so far we have five stacks here, but I think we can minimize that a little bit more at some point. So I would need something with spades over here. A seven of spades here would be great because then we could really collapse a lot of stuff here. That would be really, really good. But let's see how we can do that. Okay, so let us deal a few more cards here. Oh, sorry, you can't quite see all the cards here. But I think that should be fine now, like this. Okay, so let's continue. We already went through quite a bit of the deck, so that is nice. Okay, so one, two, three, we can put that over there. And then one more time over there. Um, that would work quite well. So let's put this over there and then over here. Um, and then we can put one, two, three over here and over there. I think that would work pretty well. Um, so that is not bad. And we can also one, two, three, put that over here. Okay, I think that is not too bad. So let's see, we can put the six on here. That's, is that gonna help? Not, yeah, well it is because we can put that there and then the 10 on here. Uh, yeah. I think that is okay. So let's see what else we can do. Mm, there's nothing we can do here at the moment, right? That's two, that's two. This one is four even. We can put the 10 on here, is that gonna help? Well, first we will put the nine on there, I think, right? Let's put the nine on here and then the 10 on there, because then, right? Like one, two, three, we can put the king on here. I think that is pretty good, yeah. Let's do it like this, okay. So let's move everything up. You see, we eliminated more than row one more than one row again, which is pretty cool. So and now let's deal out more cards. We are getting towards the end of the deck, as you can see. We don't have too many cards anymore. So I think we need to eliminate one more row. Not even. It's only three cards. We only need to eliminate three cards, and then we see everything. That is pretty cool. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, let's just do, I want the seven of spades, this one, I want at the top, up here. Um, where do I want it? Here, there, there I want it. So let's see if we can do that somehow. So I want this at the top. And to do so, we first need to get this king out of here. 
Mm, yeah, let's get the king out of here. So we can put the... No, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. I didn't really see that correctly because that's not... That's not spades here. That's clubs. Um, hmm. Okay. Let's still do that. And then we can get this one. One, two, three. Over there. And this one on there. So we can just collapse that more. And now we have all cards here. So I definitely don't want to put that on here because I would try to lay the seven of spades up here because then we can really combine quite a few good things. That would be great. So let's see, three, two, mm -hmm. nothing we can do here at the moment. So let's just start collapsing these here, I'd say. Well, the eight, we could put the eight on there. I think that's clever to put the eight on here. Well, actually, we need that seven to go up there, right? We can put that on here and then try to get it. Ah, but we can't get it up there, right? Well, yes, we no, we can't. Hmm. What I would need to do is get the seven on here, which I can do because I collapse this stuff. And then I would need to get the seven on here. That would help us a lot, but I don't think that's gonna work. Um, we could also try to get a heart on here, the queen of hearts. We don't have that either. I don't know where it is. It probably is just buried someplace. It's just buried someplace probably. So the queen of hearts would help here as well, probably. I think we are almost out of options, but let's just try to do a few things at least somehow. So, you know what? Um, let's do what I wanted to do. So that is, well, we could also try to get the Jack there, but then the eight would be in the way. Well, actually there are other things we can do. I will try something. Maybe that's not going to work. But let's see, let's put the eight on here. One, two, three, that works. And then put the queen there and also the jack. And then we could, could put all of that there. If we wanted to, we could, but we can also continue here. We can also like one, two, three over here and put get the nine on here like this. Oh no, we can put the nine there later because we still need the distance here probably. So let's see. But maybe maybe we can, I can get the seven on here. That's pretty much the idea now. So and then we one, two, three, get that on here. And now get the nine on here and now we can get the seven one two three over here so we are a little bit further now well let's see because what i would like to do now is uh, we need that on here for that we need to eliminate one two three two cards in between we can put the ten there one two and we can put the six yeah no wait no but that's not gonna help us um, am I missing something? I don't, oh, wait. Well, yeah, well, I could put the 10 there and the 4 there. Then it wouldn't be perfect, but it would be better than nothing. No, wait. I don't need the 7 spades here. I need it there. Then I think we can try it. So let's put the 10 on here. Wait. 1, 2, 3. Put that here. Like this. I think that is a good idea. And then we can do also a few things here. One, two, three. And we're definitely getting places now. Um, then we put the seven. Nowhere yet, but we can put this one back here like this. Okay. And then one, two, three. Can put the seven here. That's what I wanted to do. The two we can put on here. Well, actually, that was the six here. Actually, what we could also do is one, two, three, put the six on here and the two on here, right? Like this. Let me just pull that down towards the middle because now we have all cards here and then you can see the last moves a little bit better like this. Okay. 
So, um, and now let's see. And now what I wanted to do is put the seven on here, put the jack here. And now we already won um, for the easier mode, so to speak, because we have only five stacks left. Um, so we can put the jack here and then that would be it, I think. Is there any way we can do it differently? I don't think so. So let's put the jack on here because that's that was my plan all along. And that is it, right? So we can't move one to the left because nothing matches and three to the left, only this one wouldn't work either. But now we only have four stacks left. We could have maybe optimized it this way that we only have one stack at the end, but that is really hard. So um, I would, if, if you play this game, I would um, recommend to play it with the rule that you can have five stacks and then you just try to be as play as well as you can. And because if you play it with only one stack left, I think the odds are about one in a hundred. That is pretty low odds. So I think it would be better with these five stacks, but you can also say, hey, I want to try it with three stacks or whatever. But you see, um, I like this a lot more than Royal Marriage. I think it's easier to plan it's just a little bit better in that regard because you do have more combinations because of that one or three to the left um, rather than just eliminating cards in between but um royal marriage is a variant of that and they are both decent games definitely and if you haven't seen the video on royal marriage yet you can watch that in the playlist for this where this video is also part of all right so and there is um this is only a variant i played usually what you would do is you would just um, spread out all the cards in a line or just in a grid like i did like all of the cards so that you can see everything at once and then you try to get one stack at the end that is the more strategic approach but it takes so much table space and i don't like that too much so i usually play this with this version and then say that um, i need that five stacks are fine that was my playthrough of Accordion. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if this is the first of my videos you're seeing, why don't you head over to my channel and check out the other videos. I'd love to see you there. And apart from that, thank you, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the very next video. Take care everyone and cheers.